For all the enjoyment and exhilaration that sailing offers, it still requires us to be cautious. It requires us to observe some basic rules of safety. I'm John Rimenier. I've sailed thousands of miles, and I've seen many boats and sailors get in and out of trouble. I've also written many books about sailing, including the Annapolis Book of Seamanship. In this video, I'd like to help you learn how to sail safely. Safety at sea can be broken down into four important steps. Boat preparation, crew preparation, planning a safe route, and avoiding crew panic in emergencies. In my experience, big problems start with small problems. That's why it's a good idea to inspect every gear item on the boat, no matter how big or small it is, looking for wear and tear, breaks, fractures anything that might lead to trouble, which might lead to an emergency. I'd like to start right up in the bow, inspecting the halyards. First off, the splices and Nyko presses for the shackles should be secure. This Nyko press is a little worn here, and I think we ought to tape it over so it doesn't tear a sail. Second, make sure that you have lanyards on the shackles. This lanyard is just the right length. This one is too long. It might catch in a uh, gear item aloft, and the jib will come down. Next, check the wire halyards for meat hooks. Those are frayed strands or broken strands that could chew up your hands. If the rag catches on something, that means you have a broken strand. If you do have a meat hook, you can take it out in one of two ways. You can use the back of your knife to rub it off. Or you can take needle nose pliers or wire cutters and cut it off. Just make sure you get all of it. I think that a great many people think that we're going out there for pleasure. Why do we have to be so structured and organized? That's why, that's what we're trying to escape when we go out there. How do you deal with people who have trouble uh, taking that sort of responsibility? Well, the hardest thing to convince a young commanding officer is that he is literally responsible for the lives, the continued existence of all those young men whom the country have given to him. In effect said, please, here are my sons, take care of them. Yeah. Well, every time you go to sea and you assume that responsibility as a skipper, you are that person. Any crew that denies or disregards the risks of sailing and that refuses to organize itself and its boat to handle emergencies is asking for serious trouble. Everybody who goes out in a boat is responsible not only for his or her own life, but also for the lives of her or his shipmates. There's simply no way to get around the fact that enjoyment on the water ultimately depends on a healthy regard for safety at sea.